What is up, guys? Welcome back to uh, Feed the Be Yeah, Feed the Beast. I am BTBS here. Uh, wait, let me try that again. What's up, guys? BTBS here. Welcome back to Feed the Beast. There you go. Much better. Uh, as is down here. So I cleaned up all of the uh, wire. Well, most of the wiring and stuff down here. And as you can see, it's pretty much all of it is coming through one pipe now. And I've just got a system of iron pipes dictating which way it goes. Got my blast furnace hooked up here. Uh, I don't actually want to keep it hooked up though. What I want to do... The first thing I'm going to do today... Uh, I should have it set up to be built. Yes. So I'm going to need some high voltage cable. Which is just refined iron cable basically. And this thing is uh, pretty huge. This is the basically the ultimate cable that can handle pretty much anything. And uh double insulated and does it still have that bug? Yeah, quad insulated. So I'm putting three layers of insulation on it and it's becoming quad insulated cable. But you know, I ain't gonna complain about that. So what I'm gonna be building here is a EU splitter cable. I think that's what I want. Let me look at it. Uh, it looks like what I want. Do I have a lever? A lever? A lever? Uh, yes, right there. Oh, by the way, I put in a new diamond chest. This one's for all my nice blocks that I want, like building blocks, and this is for my crap ones. So that uh, eased that a little bit. I also cleared out some of the space in this chest. So if I'm right, this should basically, uh, when applied a redstone signal, no, let me hook it up and see if it works, oh that's the wrong one, right if this is the cable I think it is, I should be able to do that and then, hmm, this might not be the right cable. There might be another cable that does this. Uh, maybe it needs actual redstone signal instead of just this like sat next to it. Because <clears throat> it's definitely connecting to it. So, uh... Hmm. Okay, let me just uh, chuck something in the blast furnace. <laughs> chuck some al aluminium in there and uh, see what happens. So it appears to be cooking. I've no idea if this cable is doing anything. Hmm. Yeah, it's cooking fully. So maybe if I turn this off, or turn it on, invert it. Hmm. Appears to still be cooking. That's a shitter. Um. I swear that was what I wanted. It was the uh, splitter. Hmm. Splitter, detector. I have not got a clue. Oh well, I needed that cooked anyway, so. Let's just chuck this in here. <coughs> so, um. Greg Tech has done a lot to uh, change the game up, including adding all kinds of, uh. like random items that seem to only have, like, one use. And one of these that I've been coming across a lot is um, methane and hydrogen cells, two of these. And uh, I finally found their use. And their use comes in the form of one of these, alternate power tra altern alternate power transformers. Uh, generators, sorry. So if we uh, click on uses for hydrogen cell, you can see it can be used in a gas turbine. And the hydrogen cell can produce 15,000 EU per one. And the other thing the gas turbine can take is methane cells, which now produce 45,000 EU. 
And when you consider how easily you can get some of these, uh, like these centrifuge, pretty much just centrifuging recipes, so 25,000 EU and a few items, but what I do, so that's already a positive outcome there, but what I do is I centrifuge my rubber wood to get the sticky resin and the carbon and the plant balls, and the plant can then become fuel, and the methane, for methane, which is... Uh, 55,000 each, isn't it? 45,000, okay. So that's 180,000 energy being given back for spending 25 and then the plant ball energy as well. So I want to build me a gas turbine, especially seeing as I have 30 hydrogen cells sitting here. And uh, I get hydrogen cells really easily from um, centrifuging, uh, sorry, electrolyzing my bauxite. So it's 255,000, 56,000, but it gives me five of those and that's what 15 each five fifteens seven, 75,000 so it's a way of getting energy back on those and actually gaining energy when I do uh, different ones so uh, let's see if I search for gas turbine gas uh, turbine there we go so it needs two windmills, which are the um, one of the low tier free power generators, and it needs four aluminium, aluminium, uh, reinforced glass, and then two advanced circuits. So the windmills can be made with generator and carbon plates, and uh, yet Greg Tech has changed this recipe. Originally, it was refined iron in the corners there, or it can be made with mangaleum, so aluminium. Aluminium, oh, god damn you Americans! Aluminium and magnesium to get three, that's not bad actually. But I already have like a stack of carbon plates so I might as well use them. So uh, yeah, let's make it shall we? Two windmills. And all the other ingredients are assembled here and this gives us our gas turbine. Which outputs 16 EU per tick, which is pretty damn good. And I'm going to slap that just above my diesel generator, which has just finished. And I'm going to stick my 30 in there. Oh, see, it actually uh, sort of gets a thousand gas from each cell, and then the gas gets put in there, and it's now outputting power. Fantastic. I'll take my empty cells back from there, and uh, if I have no more rubber wood, I should probably get some. I would love to. Ah, uh, oh, I just heard the spider sound. You're right above me. Yes, you are. Let me get my peacock fan. I don't know what I'm going to do when I lose this peacock fan. Hey, spider. <whistles> Fantastic. So yes, I um I wanted to get uh, started on the refinery, but I decided to start a um, cactus farm after I'd used almost all my cactus. So I have like 50 waterproof pipes and two pieces of cactus. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna farm a whole load of cactus and get a whole load of stuff. But I think it's uh, I should show you how. Uh, see what I do is when I farm rubber trees, I do it in a very simple way, but it's very effective as well. Uh, yeah, let's stick the empty cells in there. Let's just resort inventory. <laughs> That's building. They go in there, and I'm going to need um, my electric tree tap as well. I'm going to need that. I'm going to need rubber tree saplings. Oh, by the way, I was um, doing a little bit of exploring, like a couple hundred blocks away, and I found a nice. Uh, Thing. Um, where is it? Let's look on the mini map. It is that way. There, silver tree. I found a meadow with a couple of silver trees in it, and I decided, eh, fuck it, I might as well break one down. Because every time I find more than one in one place, I decide I want to break one down. Uh, the silver trees are the thorncraft trees, by the way, and um, they extremely rarely drop saplings, and I got one. So uh, I can now, when I go back to thorn crafting, basically I can plant the sapling and grow it. And uh, these trees spawn an aura node inside them. 
so that um, basically I can just I can rape the local aura nodes. I can put as many as I want as long as I have the saplings, which is uh, pretty cool. Rubber, and then I'm going to. You know what? I have some diamonds set left over. I'm finally going to make myself a diamond tool. Uh, yep, three diamonds, two sticks. Can you guess what I'm making? I guarantee you can't. I'm making a diamond sickle. Oh, I only need the one stick. Sorry, I trolled a bit there. Can this thing? It can be enchanted. Ooh. You know what? I'm going to enchant that, most definitely. Uh, let's see, how full is this chest? Ooh, very full. And that. See, my preferred method of enchanting nowadays is to go to the nether and uh, dig pyrite ore for like five minutes, and that gives me like 30 odd levels. But it looks like I'm just going to have to go down to my grinder. By the way, I've been making an enchanting diamond pickaxes. And uh, I've got a couple of Fortune 2s, so what I should probably do is build an anvil and combine them. So I'm going to need... Right, and I'm going to stick these in my compressor. Oh, by the way, I made um, a bunch of overclockers for my machines. Uh, not in the right room, I swear, I didn't think so. And you have to compress uh, iron to get it into blocks nowadays. With old Greg Tech being as it is, I need one more iron ingot. Not crude oil, iron ingot. So, uh, yeah, make myself a nice anvil here, and I'm gonna combine like two dime, two fortune two pickaxes to get myself a nice fortune three. I'm gonna see how many levels it takes to combine one with that, just so I can have a fully, a, like a perfect diamond pickaxe, basically. Uh, what else? Um, I could do with some new armor. Mm, those two are lagging quite badly. They're like quite bad. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should have me twelve. Yes. So just make some new uh, armor there. And I'm going to go and enchant that as well. So I'm just going to enchant these three. And I'm going to fix uh, these together, hopefully. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back from my little grinding expedition. I got myself my Fortune 3 pickaxe I wanted. <coughs> just combined the two Fortune 2s. Got a uh, Fire Protection 4 and Fire Protection Respiration Aquafinity. And I enchanted this and just got Fortune 2. Nothing overly amazing, but you know, better than nothing. So, let me put some sound on here. <clears throat> I am going to go and grind... Ooh. Before anything else, I'll just cut these cacti. Down. Oh, I didn't know this worked on cactus. Nice. So yeah, I'm just going to replant that. Need more of them. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do some... I forgot one in crucial ingredient. Yes, I'm going to get some more rubber trees because I need some uh, more hydrogen cells and stuff like that. And methane cells. Methane cells, not hydrogen. So basically, just chuck down a whole bunch of them. And then go around and. Uh, oh wow, one of them grew already. That's ridiculous. Got damn seeds. Accidentally seeding is much worse in this uh, in Feed the Beast than it normally is. I don't know that all these are growing to their full state, and I'm okay with that. Because, you know, I'm only here to get some wood. And I can do that fairly easily. I'd love to learn a bit of uh, turtling. So that I could make turtles to do this for me. Also, it's very, very dark here. And oh, that's because it's night time. Right, let me just go sleep quickly. Now that is a rubber forest. Rubber forest and half, by the way. Right, bed, bed, bed. Snore, snore, snore. Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. Uh, bubbling lava and wake up. 
Right, <clears throat> now we use the uh, sickle to clear the leaves. Very, very quick and efficient. Just bonk, leaves gone. And let's just uh, clear this guy out first. And because uh, the sickle has Fortune 2 on it, uh, it should actually get me a higher drop rate of saplings, which is nice. So yeah, no more punching down leaves, just use the sickle. Chop out as many as you can be bothered to do. And then I generally go around afterwards and uh, tap all the holes in the trees with my uh, electric tree tap. You know, this is a pretty easy way of making a treehouse base. Because as long as you point at the, uh, not the floor, not the block on the floor or the block above it, but the block above that, then you're always going to get a nice, nicely maintained floor, basically, out of leaves. Right, just keep ripping these apart. And this is taking almost no durability damage from this, which is lovely. There's an awful lot of these trees. I don't normally do this many. I just sort of got carried away. <laughs> do, do, do. It's nice to have something like this. Like this sickle. I absolutely love the sickle. Must be one of the greatest items ever. Because, I mean, yeah, we could destroy leaves quickly before, but it wasn't really destroying them, it was harvesting them. If you want to actually break the leaves quick, that's where the sickle comes in. I hope I actually ate it. So, just going to situate myself on top of the tree here. And, because we're not going to be harvesting these trees over and over, we can uh, rape the uh, sap holes. I think there's one down here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Because if you hold a harvest, you keep tapping the sap hole, but uh, once it disappears, you can it never grows back. So it's like a one-time thing. So just take a quick look around here. There's the sap hole. Uh, that's the closest one. <laughs> there it goes. I think that's all of them. Yep, yeah, just chop this down. It's really nice having the uh, advanced diamond saw. Was that a leaf? I thought you couldn't harvest rubber leaves. Right, there's a sap hole, about four down. Just fully harvest that one, fully harvest that one. And generally the um, chainsaw runs out of juice first because it takes like a hundred uh, EU per operation, only stores like 15,000. <coughs> I wish there was one that stored more. I mean I could always make like a backpack a backpack, or a lithium backpack, that, you know one of those energy storage backpacks to help me, but I don't really like the idea of those, mainly because um, Hey, jetpack, right? Who needs energy storage when you have something that lets you fly? Just tap this. There we go. I so love the jetpack. So yeah, this is uh, this is my basic strategy for harvesting rubber wood, and uh, also getting rubber. Because unlike most people, you know, I, I uh, tap the tree and cut the tree down. So I get the uh, wood, which I can centrifuge to get the rubber. And I get other things out of it as well. So yeah, I think it's actually, if you've got the, um, the machine set up and the time, it's definitely worth doing it this way. And it means you don't have to leave rubber trees sitting everywhere because they're not the nicest looking trees. I mean, the wood doesn't look too bad. But most people are too lazy to even go up and chop all the leaves down. I mean, to be fair, if I didn't have the sickle, I wouldn't chop half of the leaves off. I'd pretty much just cut them down and wait for them to despawn. Right, 
any on this tree. There's one. That's all from that. So I'll be back to you once I've uh, harvested all these. So I uh, cut down my trees and stuff, got myself a decent amount of uh, wood uh, and like two and a half stacks of sticky resin. Got a stack of wood going in there already and um, yeah, you may notice the sound's off. I had to turn the sound off because of one thing and uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm going to try not to listen because this is horrible. Ah. There is like a hundred spiders on my roof. Look, see, look, there goes like nine of them. Ow. There was an awful lot of spiders on my roof. I just sort of, I heard a, I heard a spider, it just sort of came out and it was a spider apocalypse. Good lord, I hate spiders. Ooh, someone's mad. Let's turn that sound down. Come on, finish up. Yeah, there's a there's a sound bug associated with Enderman as well. Their sound plays, and uh, even if you turn the volume down, some fucking skelly shooting at me. One second. Even if you say turn the volume down, and uh, even like turn the volume off, and pause the game, their sound still plays. Stop shooting my house, you prick. You, get away from my house. I really should get some lights out here. I think that would do tremendously. I love Power 4. It very often just one hits. Wow. Hello, a villager zombie. Wow. Wham! Wham! Ooh. What was that? I thought I saw something move. Tinkle, tinkle. It's not that hard to get level 30 without grinding. You can just go out and actually fight, actually fight enemies. Right, look, hear the Enderman's noises playing. My game is paused. The sound is off. Their noise will just continue to play no matter what. Oh, why did I have to anger an Enderman? They can follow me in my house. Come on then, you bastard! Holy crap, was that one hit? Did he seriously do all that in one hit? He can't have, I've got protection on. Oh yeah, the charm of keeping. Hey look, there's a thing flying around me. That would be my charm of keeping. This is why I always keep a spare jetpack. Even though my jetpack counts as armor, so uh, as such was not actually destroyed. But yeah, that charm of keeping, extremely useful. What do you want? Fuck off. Oh, he's wearing my armor. And he's totally holding my bow as well. Good thing he didn't pick up any arrows for that. That could have been dangerous. Can zombies use bow and arrows? I don't know. But I'd like to find out. Yeah, In the arse. There's fucking arrows all in my house now. Dead, bitch. Can do with some more ender pearls. A little bit of chugging there. Right, I better go pick up another charm of uh, keeping. Oh, for anyone wondering, that charm of keeping, I got it in um, that place, the, the Twilight Forest. There's, uh, an, uh, there's an enemy called a maze slime, and they drop it occasionally. It's basically just a slime. But it's sort of different coloured. I wonder if I can uh, break that down to get the iron out of it. 
No, for some reason I can't. Probably because that was the one that I found. Oh well. <clears throat> I'll make sure I got everything. If I died here. Uh, I don't see anything else. Looks like I got everything. But, you know, looks are deceiving. This, um, oh, by the way, this chainsaw is just as powerful as an old diamond sword back when they used to two hit. Pretty nice and powerful. Hey, I've got fire shards under here. Is that a fortune three pick? I could do with some more fire shards. Five, not bad. <sighs> I really hate bats. After spending so long in the nether, bats just sort of terrify me now because every time I see a bat, I think it's one of those bats that's going to, you know, be a fire bat. Oh, God, fire bats. Right, so, um. Oh, lovely, it's raining. Yeah, not much, not much going on this episode. I'll try and get the, uh. the cactus farm, like, fully producing as soon as I can. Out of energy. Because I really, really, really want to get this um, oil thing started. Because as soon as I get the oil started, I can start gaining like 400,000 EU from one oil bucket. That's ridiculous. Hey, my gas turbine's finished. I must have a lot of energy backed up now, even though I've been using a lot. Yeah, I've got about a million. Mm. I've been using an awful lot for stuff like this, but the methane, the methane's going to get me my energy back. Right, what am I doing? Um, the gas turbine's up here. Oh yes, the methane is going to get me a shitload of energy. <laughs> uh, anyway guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I think I know exactly what we're doing next time. It's going to require a little bit of building and a lot of fun. So uh, peace out, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.